Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the CSS column property. Now, we have been covering every single video or every single topic of CSS so that you guys don't have to go anywhere else. If you are new to CSS, then do follow our CSS playlist. You will find every video related to CSS in our playlist. So, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the CSS column property. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what CSS columns are? So CSS columns is a feature in cascading style sheet or CSS that allows us to create multiple columns of text within a single container element. Now it allows us to divide content into several columns, making it easier to read and allowing for a more visually appealing layout. Just take an example of a newspaper. A newspaper always looks neat and clean, right? Because all the content of a newspaper is nicely divided into different columns. So it makes it easier for the user or for the reader to go through the whole newspaper. Similarly, CSS columns is a property that allows us to divide the content within a website into different columns so that it will be easier for the user and also visually appealing. So to create columns in CSS, we need to have two or three different properties. So columns is a property and there are several properties to just style those columns and all. So to create column using CSS, we need to specify the number of columns as we want, the width of each column and the gap between the columns along with the height of the container element. So a basic example, let me just show you a basic example. Fine. So we'll take a div tag here. We'll name it as, let's say the class name is going to be column and just add something over here. Let's say I'm writing lorem 100. So this is the short form for getting a paragraph. So here you can see we have a paragraph. Let me just increase the size. So this paragraph contains 100 words. Fine. So it's present within the div tag. Now what we'll do is we'll move to a style sheet and we'll write over here. We are using the style element basically within the HTML document only. We are not creating a different style sheet every time. So we are just using the inline CSS. Now what we'll do is we'll use the style element and we'll use the we'll access this container first. So we have the container class as column. Fine. Now we need to divide this text in a way that it should be easy to read for the user. So what we'll do is we'll write over here columns. Fine. So here is a property columns and we'll define the number of columns we need. Let's say we are writing two over here. Then we'll define the column width. So we have these many properties. So if you're using VS Code, then it's easy for you guys to understand which property to use. We'll discuss some of them. So we'll write over here column width. Let's say the column width I'm giving as 50% of the total area of the total browser. Fine. Now we'll define the column gap as well. Let's say we are giving a column gap of 10 pixels. And then let's say we are giving the height of this container as 400 pixels. Now save it. And here you can see we have a text divided in two different columns. So here you can see this text is easy to read. Let me just increase the gap here. And let me just make it 20. So now you can see we have two different columns. We can also divide these columns using different CSS properties. Now in this code, the column property specifies the number of columns and which is set to two. So we have two columns here. Now if I'm writing over here, three, save it. Here you can see we have three columns, right? So it looks much better now. Now the column width property is the next property we have used for this particular code. And this property is used to define the width of a column. So this column is going to be 50%, like each of them will be divided in equal parts. Fine, every column is 50% of uh, what we can say the whole screen, but they are equal basically, fine. Now the third one is column gap. So this is the column gap. You can see the difference between these words, right? So this is what column gap is, where my mouse cursor is running right now. Now, apart from that, we have the height, Right now we have 400 pixels. If we change it to 500, here you can see, right? Let me just change it to 300 pixels. 
save it and here you can see it's actually the height of a container so you will get to see it when you will go through the whole browser screen now using css columns we can create a more visually appealing layout for our content making it easier for the readers to scan and navigate through our content so it's useful tool for de designing multiple or we can say multi-column text layouts especially for large blocks of text such as articles for example if you have an article on your web page then it will be easy to understand that article or easy for the user to go through it if we divide it into different columns fine similarly for magazines and newspapers as well so there are different properties we have in CSS now the first property we are going to discuss is the CSS column count property so we'll remove all these properties from here for now just save the program and here you can see we again have one whole paragraph now the first property we are going to discuss is the column count property let's say I'm using column count as 3 now the column count property specifies the number of columns an element should be divided into save it and here you can see the columns or we can say the text the whole paragraph is divided into three equal columns because the column count is three so it's easy to understand right the next property we have is the CSS column gap property now we have already been through this property if I just take you once again so if I'm writing here let's say two pixels as the column gap save it and here you can see the column gap between each column is two pixels only right it's not looking that good but I just I just want to show you guys how the column gap property works if I'm setting it to 15 pixels you can see the gap increase right it's 15 pixels between each column now so these properties are easy to understand right then we have CSS column rules so there are different CSS column rules fine so we have CSS column column rule style column rule width and then we have column rule color and yeah these three properties we basically have so this column rule property or we can say this column rule all the properties included inside this column rule they works like the border property the first one is column rule width so if I'm writing here column and column rule then we have to write here like this column rule width so this is our first property like if I'm writing over here one pixel and saving it so here you can see nothing happened then we have to use the column rule and then we have to use the which property we have to use color property column rule color is the next property let's say I'm writing over here black save it and here you can see again nothing happened then because we have to use the okay we have to write here column then we have to write here rule then we have to write here style now style if I'm writing over here which style we can use solid let's say fine we can use dashed as well so here you can see we have a line we have a rule which divides these columns right so it's quite visible now fine so all the three uh, columns we have they are differentiated within with a line now we have three different properties which we have to use simultaneously to get a line between all the columns we have right but there is one shorthand property as well like the border property if I am writing here column rule and now we have three properties we'll define it as one pixel solid in nature and red in color fine save it and here you can see we have a one pixel line which is red in color and solid in nature instead of the solid we can write dashed as well so here you can see the dashed line we can change the width as well save it and here you can see now it's five pixels it's looking fine I guess now what we can do is we can use this single shorthand property Le right it's exactly similar to the border property which we have been using all the time since we has we have started with CSS right so this property is also easy to understand so it makes a web page look a little more attractive so if I'm writing here border the border property also remains the same if I'm writing here two pixel solid and black in color so here you can see now we have a border it looks much better now I guess so yeah we can use margin and padding as well to make it look more interactive or we can say appealing to the visually appealing to the user and it will be easy for the user to go through a columns to go through the text basically now the next property we have is the column span property so the column span property specifies how many columns an element should span across so if I'm just writing here column span 
and I'm writing here all save it here you can see there is no difference right if I'm removing everything from here save it and we can't remove everything sorry so if I'm removing this column gap and this so here you can see so this property does not specifically make any difference to our code so this column span property is just a sim single property fine so for to understand it much better what we have to do is we have to include another paragraph fine so we'll not do it right now because this property is not used that much now we have the column width property as well column width property I guess we have been through it so here you can see if I remove this column span from here and if I write here column width as 100 pixels save it and here you can see now here the width will be 100 percent here it will remain the same because we have smaller size window here so these all are the properties apart from that uh, apart from the single column property actually we can use this css columns property to make our web page look more visually appealing to the user and it will be easy right so the basic fundamental use of this css columns property is to make our web page look more readable for the user if you have any text just use this column property and it will be more easy for the user to go through that text fine so i guess you guys must have got a good idea about the css columns property by now and just try just give it a try and you guys will understand it much better so that's all for this video guys if you still have any doubts related to any of the topics we have covered in this particular video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll definitely answer them for you so that's it and we'll see you guys in another video until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code thank you